Greetings and welcome to Dyson Sphere program. I'm D Gray and we're just watching our beautiful uh, rockets being launched for the Dyson Sphere. And as you might be able to see, we are at an acute power loss after all the things we uh, hooked up last episode. <laughs> Mostly all of these just uh, launching uh, things for days. So today we have to look at our power. It is quite important to keep all this flowing at a nice steady pace. Just love watching this go. Um, so as promised, we will have to look at the artificial star today. Right now we're not producing any. We have a ton of annihilation constraint spheres powered up. We have a ton of antimatter. So if you look right here, one of these produces 7.5 gigajoules of power. Right now our base requires a bit more than one. So one of these can last about six seconds. But if we have enough to make about, what is that gonna be, about 500? That will still last us more than one hour even if we deplete all of this. So um, yeah, I think it'll be quite, quite good. To, uh, to try and get uh, some of those made just to supplement our current grid a bit because look at this. It is so bad. So let's, uh, let's go on to the process of setting up solar. So there's two things we need to do at the moment. Firstly, we need to hook up a place where it's being crafted. Right now a lot of these are filled with di different things. So let's see if we can find a spot for it. If we remove this tower over here, that is just filled with oil at the moment, maybe we'll have enough room to just put one in. I don't think it will be that hard to do. Of course, this is flipped the other, other way because of what we did here in the middle, but uh, I think it'll be fine. So firstly, let's just get uh, some of these removed. I know this oil is needed somewhere else later, but for now, let's just uh, get you cleared away so we can actually do a bit of building. As for the oil, we'll need to sift that somewhere else. Uh, could get some storage tanks for it, or just move it into another tower. If we have one with room in it, or just make a new one just up here. We'll move this in the future because we need to clear this up anyway. So let's get you emptied out of all the oil. You can go up here for now. This will only take about two minutes to empty out. So let's plan our build while we go. So one of these will have to be... It doesn't say yet, but somewhere around here. So why don't we just start with placing down the buildings? We'll need one, two, three, four, five in between. A bit more than that. But if we just hook down three, we can just uh, control the rest with a bit of um, moving of height. Wait, much easier. Let's just get two belts going out over here. Of course, set the oil up so we can actually go in. Two sec, I'll just set up a second one. Please go to right there. Oh, that's a squiggly line. But then if we have the artificial sun, then we just need to make this one. And uh, to make that, we have everything we need. So that is an extremely easy process to set up. That will do in just a second. For now, let's just get you down. You line up right here. Change you to the line. input output lines up. Change you to artificial sun. Let's do the same setup as before. One, two, three of you. Here we'll have belts inputting the items. So you'll go this way with item in, item out. And you require four items. So we'll need to have three input lines here at the top for the artificial sun. Uh, right there. This is pretty much my go-to design for malls at the moment. It works very nice and it's very, very easy to set up. That's why I'm pretty much just uh, keeping this design as our main one. 
Let's hook up the inserters. While we wait. Two and three. Let's just get our build mode. Guard mode even. There we are. And let's get the rest of them sorted back here. So you'll be in, 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 and you'll output to the middle right there. So now that's empty. That means we can remove this one, take the belts away and get down a new Logi Tower. Yeah, it should be right here somewhere. Too close, too close, too close. There we are. So from right here, we can get the items that we need. So one thing, we'll need to have um, artificial suns stored here. Just the hundreds. We'll be able to place these on other planets going forward. I think that'll be our way to do it, or just transporting accumulators. One of the two, I haven't really decided yet. So, no, you're not antimatter. You need the beams, frames, the annihilation core, and some processors, or quantum chips. Don't want to start too much at a time to not uh, completely fill this one up. But since it only requires this and takes 30 seconds, this should be more than enough uh, in terms of storage. Yeah. About one every three seconds, so that's about one per second since we're doing three. So let's just, yeah, that should be fine. Don't mind the input times. So let's see, here are some drones. You can go in here, that's overkill on drones, let's just take a few out. Just give me a bit less. You can have all of these in case we need to transport them somewhere. We'll get the warpers in, we luckily have those sorted at the bottom. When that is needed then you'll be storage, storage, storage and storage and there will be demand. Right. And demand. Seems we're out of quantum chips. Might just have to go and... Oh, we have some on us, luckily. So that way we can have them here. That's just an, a massive power issue at the moment. That's uh, keeping all this down. So 20, 20, 10, 10. With the speed, it doesn't really matter which one goes where. Annihilation go back here, and then we just need one down here. You'll go in and you'll take out the chips. So that is the entire setup. A bit of power for these. Should get these going, should get the items requested. And then we're making artificial stars. I think I called it an artificial sun, but um, the sun is just a name for our star, pretty much. Uh, in the real world, that is. So that is working. Other than our power being uh, completely destroyed. And let us grab what it needed. The rest should be on its way. If the drones decide to get it here. There we are. So let's just watch this getting made. And then we'll go and do a new setup. Just over to the right. Where we'll make our new antimatter fuel rods, and then we can use that oh, fuel chamber generation, so it does, does it do 7.5 gigajoules plus 500? Or the fuel chamber, is that just for uh, this fuel chamber? It might just be for this one, so they'll be insanely good for, for this. And the cores have been delivered, oh, I just did the same out twice, did not mean to do that. Let's get you to be that one instead and pick up what we have done here that's wrong and drop the rest in so there we go artificial stars are being made so now that we have this we just need to set up uh, pretty much the setup we need look at that how bad it is we're about one gigajoule too far behind in terms of uh, power generation 
or what's it called, um, Dyson Sphere is looking much better. As you can see, these are going in 12 at a time. That's more than 12. Uh, 14 at a time. So um, that is pretty darn good. And the stars are close being done. Then we'll just grab three for now. So we have them in the inventory and then we're ready to hook up um, the power generation. Let's see. Three stars. Just to see what it looked like. Ooh, they're pretty big. And no fuel. So that pretty much just requires that. Is that the only thing they can burn? Yeah. What does it say in the tool tip? All you have to do is let the positive negative protons be, yeah. It would be weird to create a mini sun with oil, but it could be quite cool. So now just for a place to set it up. We could do it here, we could also take it over to the opposite side. Ooh, titanium glass. So right now we are making it over here. So what if we just take it on this one? Right next to it. Doesn't require a lot, is that correct? Or oh, four inputs, it actually requires quite a bit. So let's make it here. Anti-matter fuel rods. And you require the antimatter, of course. Some hydrogen. The annihilation cores. Severe. And some beams. And you'll just keep making them until the end of time. Yeah, let, let's just keep a thousand, that's fine. You'll have a thousand at a time. You'll have a bit less than that. You're still rather, ex well, not that expensive to be honest. But I think that'll be fine. Throughputs, yeah, just fill them up. Be able to uh, deliver them to the entire universe is actually what I want because uh, if we have these in our logistic network we can send them to uh, different planets just build an artificial star there instead of and then instead of sending accumulators we just send the fuel right here and uh, that might actually be a lot better and then we can use these just to take any surplus energy we are making on places without uh, artificial stars could be cool just finding a very good planet, just setting up a ton of solar and wind, and just have that charge accumulators for days. Might actually be something you should do, a, po a power planet, instead of a power plant. <laughs> a power planet, that sounds quite cool. I think that would be uh, a very, very cool thing to get done. So let's see here. Now to hook it up. These are made in just normally... Yeah, just normal assemblers. So that means we'll go with our standard build. No. Just with one, two in between, since we will have to get three on the outside and then one here. Or we could do without having two and just doing this one. Like we do at um, the crafting area. Might be a bit easier to manage. So what does this look like? Take one out this way. All right there. That's going to be three. And then number four will go down the middle. That doesn't quite fit. But we knew that already. And you can go like that. And then the input can go back. Just like that. So that'll be one-sided. We can then do the second one over here. Get the other three lines going that way. Let's see here. Two. And use this as our... There we are. That should leave us enough room to do what we need with the, with the current setup. So uh, that I'm quite pleased with. 
So let's see. Ooh. I want auto saving. <laughs> let's get the, let's get this done. So to hook you up, you copy over. One, two, three, four. That'll be eight for now. If you do 12, eight will be about one per second then, since it's crafting speed. Yeah, of course, if you do 12, that's one and a half per second instead. Uh, some of them might be good, not quite sure yet what we should do, but let's, let's try with eight for now. Let's see if that is enough. And let's see, and we'll take. Oh, that's completely wrong. You'll go that way. And you'll go this way. Let's go to right here. Here and there. It looks uh, pretty good. He's not going to complain about this setup at the moment. I think that will be uh, exactly what we need. And then we just need to hook up just a few more things. Mostly just be... Are you still wrong? Oh, I just didn't hook it up. I was like, <laughs> how, how can I keep messing this up? So let's see here. So if you go in and out, let's do this first and see how does it look. That'll be in, that'll be out. Okay. You go in, you go out, in, out, in and out. The right here that'll be out and in. And in. And to hook these up to get these generating what we need. That should be all for the deuterium, not the deuterium salt, the fuel cells. And do the same right here. And hook you up. We just need a bit of power. And um, we have room in between. Actually quite nice when we have that. What if we just do this for now? Here. Then we have to give you a bit of power. That seems quite good. And it got power, but then... Well, it didn't get any power. <laughs> just because of uh, what we're doing at the moment. So that seems good. If we just change all of these to requests now, we should be good. So local demand, demand, and and demand. And luckily we have everything in our base, even though we are lacking quite a bit of power, it'll still run at 30%. And that is good enough for me at the moment. Beams on its way, has a bit longer travel distance. From somewhere. And then we'll take a few fuel rods. I'll pretty much set up a place where we can uh, we can output this. There we go. Three per minute. Three cycles per minute, that is, at the current power. That will give us at least a bit to work with. So now that this is going, we just need to find a good place to set up our new power generation. And uh, where would be a good place? Uh, right here will be the end of that one. We could do it in line right here. Now we have planetary logistics here at the moment. 
what we might be able to start is we can also take this away and have this room. Um, I don't really mind the small amount we have left. Also, we can just go away. I'll bury the rest of you for now. Not that I enjoy doing that. But once in a while it is a good way to sort this out. So that has been buried. So let's see, it shifts right here. And this one is, if you look at the map, not used for anything at the moment. It's pretty much this entire line here we'll, we'll take and use for artificial suns. Maybe just starting it right here will be good. Of course, it is a bit too close. How close can we sit it back here then? That's fine. So, artificial sun line. Don't think you have an output. You, you'll just go through. What we've got to test here is, does it go through um, through these? Or do we need to have an output somewhere? Yeah, it's not an input one, so we need to have it running below. That is completely fine with me. Uh, you can just get a thousand storage here. That should be uh, enough for the foreseeable future, and that requires 10,000 antimatter anyway. So let's see if you go this way. Let me stop here for now. You'll get one input. Should be more than fast enough for what we need. And we give you a bit of power. You're right next to a sun. Why don't you just take that power, man? Not one to complain, but the uh, right in between seems decent enough. So let's try this little baby out and see what it can actually do. Put the storage and you'll be demanding that from the network. Or well, something else can deliver it, but I want to give you power as well. Not that I think it's needed, but uh, now we have it. So let's see, here goes the input very, very soon. Oh, it's already here. We just need to remember to set the output. And... Ooh. That gave us quite a bit of power. And listen to that hum. Ooh, and the last quite a while, even running at full speed. This, this I'm, I'm quite pleased with this. So, let's just get some more, because it'll only run in case we need the power. And I think it will let the solar run full speed. Power load. 300, seems pretty good. So let's just grab some more. There's still... I don't know if it's a bug or feature. I'll call it a bug at the moment. But if you go from there, I showed you as well last episode. You can grab things from here. Let's grab 15 more. And let's see what we can do with 15 of these. Oh ho! We can make an entire solar ring with these. And I'll just place a ton of them down because I think we'll be able to uh, manage the setup. And hopefully these turn on after um, the renewable energy. I'm quite sure they do. But this is a good way to test it. If we have enough being produced to actually support this. How many was that? Uh, a lot is what I'm thinking. We have 70 something here. We have these burning them. Using a lot of power. So let's see. Can I please get all of you to the end? Of this line. Could in theory make it two sided, but I'd like the look of this. Then we'll get them in into these. Remember to get the power poles as we go. Then we'll have a nice row of, uh, of solar. And as the Dyson Sphere grows, we can change over for more uh, 
generation of uh, the critical protons we need to actually make this work. Let's see, you'll be there. Here. They are slowly powering up. Look at that. Power is turning blue. Slowly but surely. And hope that means that things will start to run as fast as they need to. Tiles are looking 3.4 gigajoules. And these should not produce. Yeah, look, the power load is not maximum anymore. And wow, 1.8 gigajoules? <laughs> Holy moly, that looks cool. Look at that. That will be. Jesus Christ. I am enjoying this setup. So now we just have to make sure that we can produce enough to keep this running. Uh, right now these over here are running. They are producing as fast as they can because we do have the maximum. We do have maximum input. So this is pretty much the limiting factor at the moment. So if we go into a production tree, look at last. That was a nice boost. In our entire star cluster. 2.81 is what we're generating in the entire system. Then we have this in demand. I kind of want to maybe set up some uh, some charging things in different planets in case we have surplus energy on mining worlds. Oh, that might actually be a good idea to have those uh, charge them up uh, for the future. Yeah, so we're not wasting any. So let's see, we're looking at this one. What I want to find is right here. The last minutes. Okay, we're producing 56 per minute and we're consuming three. Hmm. That seems like. Uh, or is it just the three that went in? Yeah, we, yes, they're powering, but they're not being consumed yet, so we can't quite. Look at we, yeah we can't look at this yet until they've gone a bit further but producing 60 about one per second it will be one per second uh, ratio wise is is pretty darn good seven and a half am so how does that look in terms of uh, generating uh, what we need? That's 10. Does all these have some now? 8. 8. That is an insane amount of power we have stored at the moment. I should never have to use the discharge here now. These should not run. These should receive as much as possible. Look, we are requesting 1.4 out of 5.8. So it is... Uh, we could add in a few more general... Uh, what's called... Critical proton generators. But let's just check here. 45 consuming 38. So we are still at a pretty nice setup. Go to 10 minutes. We're consuming everything we're producing. That is to be expected and uh, what I want to see. So now it's just, should we expand this out, or should we just uh, get the sun to, to run? Um, do help me with this, guys. Is How's the efficiency in terms of this? I don't think I can do the math in my head right here. But if we look at this one. Right now it's consuming 62.5 megawatts to make 5. This means it's 5 seconds of power to create one of these, or 12 seconds. So that's about... That's gonna be, let's, let's say it's one gigajoule to produce one of these. Is that correct? That seems like a lot. And then we'll use... Where is it at? The splicer thing? Am I blind? There we are. Then we need two to make two. And this requires ten. So it doesn't look like it's an energy surplus. It might just be around uh, the same. Maybe. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll have to look into what's it called, the, the ratios to this. If that is correct or not. Then again, it's just requesting from the Dyson Sphere, which has infinite power. The good thing about these is they'll run. They don't need to have uh, the same way these does. Only 12 and a half. These consumes a lot more. Turning into power, so it might just be about a one-to-one. -one, which, of course, I can add them in here as well, giving us a lot more. Because they are 10 times as strong as these. A bit more than 10 times at least. It's going to be 12 and a half times as, as good. But the fuel efficiency is also 2 cents better, so... They are many, many times better. So are you filling up over here? Not enough that I can start to steal some yet. Oh, you very soon, because this belt is completely full now. In terms of consumption, 5 something, 48. And we are consuming everything here. So the storage is completely gone now. The storage is over here. And uh, this just lasts for a while. But as I said, do comment down below what the ratios are, if, if the power is better or worse doing this. Because right now it feels pretty darn good. And this just looks awesome. So I think this is a rather good place to stop. Watching our rockets fly, watching our Dyson Sphere get built. Maybe see if we can have a little look at it. Look at that beauty. <laughs> so, um, zooming in on the little mech, I think this is a pretty decent place to stop. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, do comment what you think about the setup, how the power ratios are, if you know. And, um, yeah. In the next episodes, we'll probably start to work on some more science. I think it's about time we m maybe get to university... Uh, Universe Matrix? It is quite easy to get. And it just requires a bit of antimatter, which does take away quite a bit of power making these. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll look at that and then we can easily complete this afterwards. So, um, wait, we can actually complete this next episode if we wanted to. But no, no need to do that. So, um, thank you so much for watching, guys. Do remember to like and subscribe and come join us on Discord. We're always having a blast there. And with that, I will see you in the next episode. Bye, guys.